Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to solve November 2024 university question paper under the subject International Finance. Again, a very important video for all the TYBMS M6 student. In this video, we are going to take up all the question, practical questions that had appeared in November 2024 paper and we'll try to find out the correct answer. So let us see what were the question and how to solve them in the most simplest manner. The very first question was the following quote is given in Dubai USD to AED is given 3.6710-90 in which country the quote is direct in which country the quote is indirect so first you're going to solve that part the question number one and two first of all USD to AED is given as 3.6710 and 3.6790 this is 90 the, the number which comes uh, after 710 is 790 this is the bid rate this is the ask rate now remember it is a direct quote in Dubai USD mother one USD is equal to uh, 3.6710 and 3.6790 AD so it is a direct quote in Dubai as foreign currency is always expressed in one unit therefore number one in which country the quote is direct in Dubai the quote is direct and which country is it indirect it is USA next they are asked us to find the mid rate mid rate ka formula is ask rate plus bid rate divided by two so ask rate Okay, you know, plus bid rate divided by 2, so 3.6790 plus 3.6710 upon 2, we get the value as 3.675. After mid rate, we have to find the spread. Spread is equal to ask rate minus bid rate, so the same ask rate minus bid rate, we get the difference as 0 0.008. Then we need to find the spread person. Spread person ka formula is spread upon ask into 100. Spread we already found 0 0.08. 008 ask was 3.6790 into 100 so you divide multiply we get the value as 0 0.2175 and the last thing that they asked us to find was calculate the inverse code now inverse code ka formula first we need to find the bid rate bid will be 1 upon ask so 1 upon 3.6790 we get the value as 0 0.2718 and ask is 1 upon bid which is 1.6710 so that comes to 2.0.2724 so therefore the inverse quote is uh, bid is 0.2718 and ask is 0.2724 okay so this is how you all had to solve the very first question in which they had asked us six things to find okay very simple just have to apply uh, the basic formulas and apply the value because they are only giving you the bid rate and the ask rate based on that everything has to be noted down okay so that was the very first question that they had asked second uh, fo uh following quotes are given in usa that is euro to uh, euro to usd usd to chf and then they told you derive the quote chf to euro from the above two quotes so this is one part of the question and in Germany, the quote is given as CHF to Euro is given a value and then telling you now compare the quote given in Germany with the above derived CHF to Euro quotation and find the arbitrage if uh, uh, any on capital of Euro 1 million. So there are there are two parts in this. So first, Euro to USD, USD to CHF is given and they are asking us to find CHF to Euro. So basically this is nothing but the cross rate they are asking us to find. So let us find the cross currency ka rate first. Very simple. See, Euro to USD has been given to us. See, USD to CHF is given and we asked, they asked us to find CHF to Euro. Bid rates are given, ask rate also we have noted down. So, first we will find the bid rate under CHF to Euro. So, CHF to Euro bid rate. See, very simple to solve. First is CHF, note down CHF. Second is Euro, noted at the end. Now, whichever currency is missed out, put it uh, at the end and put it at the start. So, we need to first find CHF into USD and then USD to Euro. So CHF to USD look in there if it is in the same direction take the rate directly if it's not then we have to take the inverse rate CHF to USD is the opposite so opposite is inverse so bid will be one upon us USD to euro again that is in the opposite direction if it is in the opposite direction we take the opposite okay so the inverse rate so for bid we'll have to take one upon us so one upon the ask rate of uh, CHF in USD here this rate so ask is 0 0.9575 and one upon ask for USD to Euro is 1.2275. So we divide, we multiply, we get the bid rate. Okay, now remember I've already made a separate video for this to understand this in detail. 
the various types across uh, you know the combination okay this was bid right now we need to find the ask so ask is again the same thing chf noted at the start euro noted at the end and whatever currency is missing out put it on both the side now chf to usd again chf to usd is in opposite direction so we'll take one upon bid for ask usd to euro is also in opposite direction so we'll take one upon bid so one upon 0.9550 one upon 1.2250 we divide multiply we get the value as 0.8547 so therefore the uh, the derived quote of chf euro is 0.8509 and 0.8547 this is the first part of the sum where they ask you to find the quote so you can go through it once okay now the second thing they are asking you now 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 look at this very carefully okay they are giving you the germany ka quote which is ch2 to euro and one we have already derived they have mean the one which we just now found and they are asking us to find if there is any arbitrage opportunity available there now remember this is very careful b1 b2 b1 is uh, like to take the first one okay the bid of first bid of second because they are asking us to compare germany with that of the derived okay so this will become a1 and a2 after putting it in b1 b2 a1 a2 put the numbers in ascending order ascending may b1 is the smallest then a1 then b2 and then a2 so we have put it in this and now only concentrate on the first three the rule states that your b2 cannot be in between b1 and a1 So since B two does not lie in between B one and A one, there will exist an arbitrage opportunity. The rule is very simple. B two cannot be in between. If B two is in between, then there is uh, no arbitrage opportunity. But if B two is not in between, then there is an arbitrage opportunity. We apply the formula: arbitrage gain is equal to B two. Uh, sorry, B two upon A one minus one into one million because they are giving you one million euro. So B two ka value zero point. Eight five zero nine upon a one zero point seven five seven five divide minus with one and into ten lakhs. Whatever value you'll get, that will be the final answer of arbitrage gain in a million. So one two three three double zero point three three is the value. So you can go through it once. Okay. After this, the next sum. Consider the following information: spot of CHF and CAD has been given to us. The spot rate, and they are giving you one month forward, two months forward, three months forward, four months forward. Calculate one month, two months, three months, and six months forward CHF to CAD rates. Now remember one thing: in forward, may always check if the first number is. I mean, the bid rate is smaller than ask. It is always premium. Bid is smaller than ask. Premium. Bid is smaller than ask. Premium. Bid is smaller than ask. Premium. So very simple. Step one. First, we always note down the spot rate. That is one point five one two five and one point five one nine zero. One month forward, bid is smaller than us, so we have to add. Add one month premium. Now this is five is five points. Okay, so it will be zero point zero zero five zero and zero point zero zero eight zero. We add up. We got the one month forward rates. Same way we need to do for two months. Take the spot rate as it is from the original, and then we add zero point. Zero two double zero zero point two zero point sorry zero three five zero. Add up, we get two months forward. Same way for third, keep the spot rate as it is, and then we add zero point zero eight five zero zero point zero nine five zero. Add up, we got the three months forward, and same way for the last, we keep the spot rate as it is. Add zero point one four double zero and add zero point one six double zero, and we get the six months forward rate also. Okay, so you can go through it one with this sum. It's a very simple problem sum.
ओके चलो वी सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आफ्टर दिस द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज द स्पॉट यू एस डी टू आई एन आर इज गिवन द स्पॉट रेट इज गिवन थ्री मंथ फॉरवर्ड रेट इज गिवन एंड दे आर टू कैलकुलेट थ्री मंथ एनुलाइज फॉरवर्ड मार्जिन दट ए एफ एम एंड इंटरप्रेट द रिजल्ट वेरी सिंपल विच इज अपलाई द फॉर्मुला ए एफ एम इज इक्वल टू फॉरवर्ड माइनस स्पॉट अपॉन स्पॉट इन टू थ्री सिक्सटी और ट्वेल्व डिपेंड ऑन वट एवर दे गिव यू अपॉन एन इन टू हंड्रेड इन आस केस द फॉरवर्ड रेट वॉज एटी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव फोर फाइव जीरो माइनस एटी थ्री पॉइंट वन फाइव सिक्स फाइव अपॉन एटी थ्री पॉइंट वन फाइव सिक्स फाइव इन टू ट्वेल्व बिकॉज दे आस मंथ्स अपॉन थ्री इन टू हंड्रेड सो यू फर्स्ट माइनस then you divide then you multiply again divide and then you multiply the answer whatever you get will be your final answer that is 1.8688 percent the answer is positive if it is positive then we write a conclusion the positive result indicates the base currency usd is at a forward premium and the variable currency inr the interest rate is less than the base currency interest rate by 1.8688 percent Uh, wait, this is not less. Okay, change this to more. When it is discount, then we will take it at less. Okay. If it is negative, the answer then we take it as less. Otherwise, we'll have to take it as more. Chalo, you can note this sum. after that the next question was they given you spot rate they given you usd to sgd ka interest rates so usd and sgd is given with the usd is a foreign currency sgd is a domestic currency calculate 3 month forward usd to sgd remember for this you will have to use the fisher's effect formula that is forward upon spot is equal to home interest upon foreign interest so calculation of hi we need to first find hi so a home interest is equal to 1 plus i into ih that is interest in home currency or home country into m divided by 12 so 1 plus now home currency country is uh, singapore so sgd that is 1.5% so 0.015 into 3 months 3 divided by 12 we get a value same way we need to find for fi that is a foreign currency based so same formula 1 plus if into m divided by 12 70 0.75% so that is 0.0075 into 3 divided by 12 we get a value now we apply the main forward find we are going to calculate the forward rate forward is missing spot is given hi we just now found and fi we just now found now we just cross multiply 1.3550 into 1.00375 divided by 1.001875 we get the forward rate as 1.3575 therefore the 3 month forward rate is 1.3575 So this is how you all had to solve this particular sum. You all can go through it once. Okay. After this, the next sum. This is the second last sum from the question paper. From the following data, find the best alternative for investing. 10 million 1 million is 10 lakhs so 10 million is 1 crore for a temporary period of 3 months exchange rates are given against india or inr they are given you usd euro and gbp remember to find the net return when investing the formula is amount invested upon spot rate into 1 plus the lowest interest rate upon 100 into 12 divide uh, into period divided by 12 into the forward bid rate minus the investing amount again Special videos have been made for these topics to understand that in depth. Okay. Chalo, let us see how to solve this. First is USD currency. So net return when investing in USD, the formula is investment amount that is one crore divided by the spot rate. So there is only one spot rate given here. So we take it this into one plus the interest rate lowest. There is only one rate given. Then we take it five upon hundred. Into the period three months three divided by twelve into the forward rate only one is given so we take the forward and minus one crore which is the value 
Now, how to calculate the answer? Very simple. Always start with this first. Five divided by hundred into three divided by twelve plus one. Whatever answer you get into eight eighty three point five six double zero into one crore divided by eighty three point five one five zero. Whatever answer you get minus one crore. Your answer will come to one three zero four five five point six one. So that's one lakh thirty thousand four hundred and fifty five point six one rupees. Same way, now we need to find for euro. So it will be one crore upon spot rate into one plus the rate of interest as four into three divided by twelve into the forward rate minus one crore. Same logic. Four upon hundred into three divided by twelve plus one into ninety one point three one five five into one crore divided by ninety one point two five six five. Minus one crore, the answer will come to one lakh six thousand sixty five thousand six thousand five hundred and twenty nine point nine five rupees. Same way, lastly for GBP, so one crore upon spot into one plus three divided by hundred into three divided by twelve into one zero two point five seven eight five minus one crore, we get the value of seventy five thousand nine hundred and thirty three point one five. From these three, USD is the best because it has the highest return. So investment would be made through USD since the return is the maximum. Okay, so this is how you all had to solve this particular sum based on investment. You can go through it once. Okay, now one last question. Uh, Suraj Prag uh, company is planning to buy a machine which would generate cash flow after taxes. They are giving you year two lakh ka machinery, and every year they are going to give you returns, and they are giving you discounting factor. We are going to try to find whether it is a good or not. Okay, so year one two three four cash flow after tax forty eight thousand sixty four sixty four sixty four. PV factor zero point nine zero nine zero one eight two six zero one seven five one zero one six eight three. We multiply these two column, we get the present value. We add up the present value. We get the value as one lakh eighty-two thousand eighty-eight thousand two hundred and seventy-two. We need to find the net present value. So two lakh was the investment. The income is coming to us. Okay. So wait, wait. The formula. Okay. This is very important. The formula is two lakhs. Uh, it's not two. Okay. So basically, the formula is total PV minus the initial investment. Okay. So your total PV was one lakh eighty-eight thousand two seventy-two. Okay. This you have to minus with the in, the initial investment, okay? So it is basically the reverse order. The one lakh eighty eight thousand two seventy two minus two lakhs, so you get a negative one eleven thousand seven hundred and twenty eight dollars. So there's a negative. I mean, if I'm investing two lakh dollars, my returns after four years going to be only one lakh eighty eight thousand two seventy two. So it is a loss for us. Okay, so since the NPV is negative, since the NPV is negative, okay, since the uh, the NPV is negative, it is not preferred that Suraj Prag should go for the investment. Okay, that was the last sum in this particular paper. You can go through it once. Okay, so I hope everyone have understood. We have finished with the entire paper solving. So with that, we will be ending this video here. Thank you.